Molly Burnett, uh, you play Laura in the web series Relationship Status, uh, and you received a Daytime Emmy nomination for Best Supporting Actress in a digital drama series. Uh, so first off, how did you find out you were nominated, and, and how, what was your reaction to it? Uh, I was super shocked and excited. Uh, I, I didn't even know. So our producer, Todd, emailed me and said, oh, my gosh, check this out. And uh, I hadn't heard, you know, we hadn't been filming in a while. And so I was like, oh, cool, an email from Todd. And then he sent the link that said I got nominated. And I was like, "You, I didn't even know you guys submitted me. This is awesome. Um, and uh, you're also um, uh, um, presenting it at, at this weekend's awards. Uh, are you looking forward to, to the event? Yeah, I'm so excited because I can't be there on Friday. I'm in Dallas shooting right now. But um, I'm going to be there Sunday. So I can't wait. <laughs> And the series is about an interconnected group of, of characters who are all navigating their love lives, uh, you know, and balancing that with the age of social media. You know, how did, how did the opportunity for the show uh, first come about? Um, you know what? A couple of years ago, I uh, went and met with Elizabeth Allen Rosen, who was the director of season one, and Milo Ventimiglia, and um, just did a really uh, kind of kooky interpretation of what I thought the character Laura might be. And um, and I, I booked it and, and we did season two and three and had a blast. We shot it in Utah and that's just kind of how it, how it came about. Uh, in your character, uh, you know, as a young Los Angeles professional uh, trying to find, you know, meaningful connections uh, near and sometimes far. Um, what do you think about this character when, when you were first reading the script? Oh, I I think she's so, <laughs> I love Laura. My heart goes out to Laura. She just wants to find love. And uh, she's just doing it in all of the wrong ways uh, that social media nowadays provides us with. So she's on every dating app and she's DMing people on Instagram and Twitter and she's getting in everybody's life. And she's, she's just such a fun, sweet little character. I, I love her so much. And and the theme of the show with uh, you know finding you know you know balancing our social lives with technology you know it 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 seems more and more relevant as time goes by and there are more things like Tinder, Facebook, Instagram, so many other apps. Uh, you know, could you relate to to these characters and how they're trying to balance those digital and real world kind of connections? Sure, uh, it's a fun. I haven't really ever done the dating app thing. Um, I'm still, I'm a grandma when it comes to that kind of stuff, so I'm still, I'm waiting to, I'm waiting to, to dive into that maybe, but, um, but yeah, absolutely, social media has become such a, a relevant thing for this generation as far as contacting people and getting information, and um, I think it's kind of a double-edged sword. Um, I think social media technology brings a lot of beautiful, wonderful connections and, and ways to interact with people that you wouldn't normally get to. But I also think um, it gives chance to, it gives people the chance to um, be kind of mean and bully behind the safety of their computer screen. So, you know, you take the good with the bad. And uh, you know the format of the show. You know it, it feels very much like you know kind of short stories where you know different characters pop into and out of each other's lives and 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 their their own stories. Uh, what do you think about that approach in in the writing and and in how the story is told? Uh, yeah, I think it's so cool. I I, I want to say it originally started out as like a, a a film that with the possibility to cut it into little episodes, and so they they did it obviously. And I think it's such a cool way. Um, cause especially, you know, our attention spans that eight minute to 10 minute episode is a perfect amount of time and it reels you in and you get the full story. And, um, what was so, what drew me to this project is it's, it's, there were like 30 ish actors that all intertwined with each other. So you got a chance to work with, um, all kinds of wonderful, talented actors, but all kinds of storylines. And we were all joking around when we were filming that every, uh, every episode has a storyline that at least like 10 of us have experienced personally. So it felt very relevant. <laughs> were there any in particular that, that, that you felt, uh, you know, you could, you could relate to? You know, I, uh, I mean, I'm sure a little bit of all of them, even a little bit of Laura, you know, we all kind of, uh, in season three, when Laura's best friend thinks her boyfriend's cheating on her, uh, but it was just her sister or something kind of similar to that happened to me and I was ready to go kill my friend's guy, but it just happened to be his cousin. And so, you know, we've all, we've all kind of been through most of the, <laughs> most of those storylines. 
And uh, what's interesting about the show is that, you know, while it's dealing with the kind of romantic possibilities and complications on the, inter on the internet, it's also kind of represents the creative possibilities, you know, of, of shows uh, on the internet, you know, more and more online shows we're seeing. Uh, does it feel like there are more opportunities open these days as an actor? Sure, absolutely. Um, I, th I mean, there's how many TV shows just currently running right now it, when you combine network television and Hulu and Netflix and Amazon and YouTube and Go90 and all of these amazing streaming services. I think it has it gives you so many outlets to tell all different kinds of stories rather than just what TV provided, um, you know, a little while ago. And the, you know the the you know the primetime Emmys have expanded you know their uh, reach to to digital programming and the daytime Emmys also, which is uh, of course great for relationship status and uh, a number of other shows. Uh, is it gratifying to see the industry really kind of acknowledging more and more how much creative work is done online and the quality of it? Absolutely. I mean, you look at Go Ninety; it looks like a completely beautifully shot professional show, and I think. Uh, people put so much time and energy in their heart and everything they've got into these shows, whether they be on TV or streaming, that I think it's wonderful that they're getting acknowledged. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it seems like an especially uh, strong frontier for, uh, you know, daytime talent, uh, you know, because these days there are only four soap operas left on the air. Uh, you know, do you think the Internet could be, you know, the future of daytime dramas in, in so many different forms? Absolutely. I think there's definitely a space for daytime dramas that um, hopefully the so four soaps that are left continue to fill that space. But w if it expands, I think the Internet absolutely offers that. And uh, you mentioned uh, Milo Ventimiglia, the, one of the executive producers on the show. Uh, and he's also uh, an actor on the show in his own storyline as a New Yorker Jack. Mm -hmm. um, you know, is, has, has he been a hands on producer? Uh, you know, do, do you work a lot with him? Yeah. Oh, he's he's been great. I mean, he's he's on this little known show um, called This Is Us. I don't know if you're familiar. Yeah, it, with it's that. very obscure, but I think I've heard of it. <laughs> you might have heard of it uh, in passing. But so season one, he was on set every single day. Um, super hands on. He's so wonderful and down to earth and just calm and lets you play with the character. And um, season two and three, he was very much involved, but he was also filming. So it's kind of, you know, 50 50. But he's Oh, God, he's just so wonderful. And uh, you know, the, the creator of the show, of course, uh, Celine Geiger, uh, who also earned an Emmy nomination uh, for the writing of the show. Uh, how's it been working with her? What's that collaboration like? A dream. She's so wonderful and so brilliant and creative. And she, uh, you know, it takes, you got to be really vulnerable to take stories that are influenced by things that have happened in your life and kind of make it into this beautiful dramedy that she did. And, um, she just allowed so much freedom for you as the actor to, you know, pick and kind of figure out where you want your character to settle in. And she just really, the whole, everybody involved in relationship status is so wonderful. And uh, there have been uh, three seasons of relationship status thus far. Do you know if, if the show will be back for a fourth? No, I don't know. I hope so. I think there's, you know, the, the longer social media becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and the more, dating apps and outlets and ways to communicate with each other. There's millions of little tales that have yet to be told. So I, I hope we get to go longer. I would love to. Are there any particular aspects, uh, you know, if you do get another season, uh, you know, aspects of Laura's life and her experiences uh, that, that you'd especially like to, to explore? Would you like to see her settle down or keep you know, dating around? Well, you know, I kind of, I, I, was toying with that idea because as much as I'd love to see her um, have a boyfriend or, you know, like a steady mate uh, or girlfriend, I don't know, whatever Laura's into, um, I I, uh, I don't know, kind of part of the fun is watching her kind of mingle her way into all of her friends' lives. So maybe give her, maybe, you know, throw her a bone, give her, you know, a, a bay for a little while. I think that'd be really fun. <laughs> And she has this, you know, really, you know, tight knit group of, of, of friends in her life. Uh, you know, what, what's it like uh, working with uh, those other actors in these really close uh, uh, friendships? Oh, they're so wonderful. McKenna plays her best friend and she's fantastic. And Emma Bell and Amy Pham, they all, uh, we just kind of became this like cool little tight knit crew. And, and so it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't hard to pretend to be friends on screen. I'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, and, and you had a, a, a breakthrough role before Relationship Status, of course, on Days of Our Lives, where you played Melanie for a number of years uh, and turned actually two Emmy nominations for that role. Uh, you know, this show, of course, is, you know, quite different in terms of style and, and format. Uh, how is the experience uh, different as, as an actor? Well, uh, we get a lot more takes. <laughs> Soaps go really fast, which um, I came from theater, so that was kind of that felt okay to me to just kind of get in there and be ready to do the the scene you got to do and move on and move quickly. Um, so it's kind of fun to have you know get a kind of have a couple goes at each scene and uh, really kind of dig into to what the underlying theme of the scene is. Um, and and obviously the episodes are shorter, so we kind of. We're able to play around with a bunch of different episodes, but um, it's the same kind of family energy with both shows. I mean, Days is my first family, and I'll love them forever. And uh, so it's just kind of cool um, uh, making new families as you go. And yeah, how many how many pages like a day would you say you were were you filming on on Days of Our Lives? It ah uh, it it would it would depend on the day. But I would say you could do any anything from like maybe five pages up to like forty five pages on a on a big day, if not more. Sometimes I mean they just you know it's it's a uh, they got it down to a science how to film this stuff. So as many as they can as they can do at a time, we we would work through. Yeah, it it seems like it you know must be kind of a gauntlet to go through that would prepare you for for pretty much anything. So by the time you're on a show like Relationships, as you're like I got this. Now, exactly. However many takes I can ta I can I can handle it. Exactly. It, it's so going on days was absolutely like doing boot camp because it was like once you can do if you can do a soap opera, you can literally do any other show because you just are put on the spot and you got to be ready to go. And if they throw new lines at you, you memorize them and your your memory just becomes so strong and, and it just prepares you for everything. It was I'm so grateful for it. Do you think you'd ever be uh, open to revisiting the character of Melanie on Days if the opportunity came to bring her back at any point in the future? You know, I uh, I, I never say never. <laughs> I never say never. You never know where life's going to take you, and, and they're so wonderful over there, so. Uh, well, I want to uh, congratulate you on, uh, again, on Relationship Status, your Emmy nomination. Uh, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, and and thank you so much for, for talking to me about, uh, about it today. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. I'll see you guys on Sunday.